Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and I do Dad's 3D videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Uh, this video that we're going to do today is going to be part of a series of little quick tips uh, that we can use when we're using DAS. Little things, practical things that, that normally get buried uh, inside the, the depths of larger videos, but are quite useful enough in themselves to warrant a little video. Uh, so in this little video, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to help you rotate your cameras and lights around your model so that it, it speeds things up and everything gets a little bit more efficient for you. So as we can see, we have our model in scene. She's all suited and booted and ready for action. I also have a camera set up, uh, which is what we're actually looking through into the scene and our model. But what if we weren't happy with the position of that camera? What if we wanted to see our model from a different angle? Well, what we'd have to do is we'd have to come up to the rotation and the pan tools up here, uh, and we'd have to rotate the view around. And then after that, we'd have to pan so we can get a better look. And, you know, maybe we have to adjust that angle again a little bit and it's all a little bit of a pain and it's all a little bit inefficient and it's all a little bit clumsy and a bit rubbish let's face it so if i come back uh get us back to our null point what we can do is we can set up a, a little container place our camera within that container so our camera becomes a child of it and then we can manipulate that container and all that manipulation will run down into the camera and will apply to the camera also. If that doesn't make sense, well, let's do it and we'll see. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to select our model up there, and then we need to come up to the Create menu and then come down to this thing called a New Null and give it a click. Uh, and if we come down to Copy Selected Item on the dialog box, so that means it will copy the position of the null into the same position as what our female model is select is 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 has got for itself so if we now click accept nothing much changes other than this item this object this null container appears in our scene uh tabs that we can do if we could come to the perspective view by the way you can see there's nothing there it's just a empty complete blank a nothing container that just exists at our model's feet because we we created it where she was standing what we then need to do if we come back to our camera view is to click on our camera hold it down and then drag it into the null so it's highlighted and then let go and as you can see the camera is a little bit indented and it's now a child of the null container so what that means then is instead of now rotating the camera if we were to rotate the null container and if we were to come down to the rotation sliders down here and rotate it on the y we rotate the null container now that rotation is then applied to our camera and our camera rotates perfectly around our model keeping the distance exactly the same as to what it was in the first place uh, if we come back to zero and then just have a quick look down from above so we can see what's happening we can see that we've got our null container selected right where our model is stood and when we rotate the null it rotates on its spot and the camera rotates with it because the camera is a child of the null container and we can rotate perfectly around equidistance all the time and we'll be able to see our model from any angle that we desire which let's face it is much better than doing it with the pan and the and the rotation buttons up there in the top right of the viewport but it gets even better we can place anything inside one of these null containers and that thing that we put in there will act as a child of that null so any manipulation of the null container will also apply to its children so if i was to create a light and have it in its own null as we can see up here that i've created and again we go back to our top down view we can see the light down here that i've created there's the null light we can now rotate that light around our model in any way that we want and it will keep equidistance and will light up the model from the direction that we want it to do so 
So there we go, a quick and easy way to be able to rotate our cameras, our lights, anything that we want around a given point in space within our scene and to do so easily, quickly and efficiently. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video and I hope it helps you out somewhat. If so, give us a like down below, share the video about, do the usual stuff. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really helps me out. And as always, if you've got any questions or comments, just leave them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.